Hello, welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System and my review conclusion for the Lima Acoustics Elements Pre-Amplifier and Power Amplifier as a pair, as a duo, as part of the review for the Wilson Audio TuneTop speakers that you can see behind me as part of the ultimate desktop hi-fi series that I've been running over a number of weeks. And I think that is a great place to start because the reason I'm reviewing the Lima Acoustics Elements Pre and Power combination is because of their form factor. They are very modest in size, which makes them perfect for a desktop hi-fi system. But they might be compact in size, but they are certainly not short on connections. Looking at the rear of the preamplifier, you can see multiple analog and digital inputs, both single-ended and balanced. There is also digital inputs indicating that the Lima Acoustics Elements preamplifier has an internal DAC, which is capable of playing files up to 24-bit 192 kilohertz. The Lima Elements preamplifier is substantial, weighing in at seven and a half kilograms, and it's reassuring to look inside that top plate and see a big toroidal transformer as part of the preamplifier's power supply. Also, as a bonus, the Lima Elements preamplifier offers a headphone amplifier. The front face plate is very thick and that blue screen with white writing is very small and hard to read. Moving over to the power amplifier. It has a similar visual design, but sadly you can't see inside the top plate to have a look at the amplifier design itself. The Elements power amplifier can be used in either stereo or in monoblock mode. In stereo mode, the Elements Power Amplifier is capable of 55 watts into 8 ohms, 92 watts into 4 ohms, and 160 watts into 2 ohms. However, in bridged mono mode, it's capable of 210 watts into 8 ohms and 365 watts into 4 ohms. That's a hell of a lot of power in a very compact or small chassis or form factor. On the rear of the amplifier, there are balanced and single-ended analog connections. For the speaker cable terminals, you will need to use speaker cables with banana plug connections. The Lima Elements Pre and Power Amplifier both feature LIPS, L-I-P-S, which is a Lima proprietary connection technology that sends data from one unit to another, which makes it easier to control multiple Lima Elements components. I think the styling of the Elements units is going to divide opinion. I think the blue screen with the white writing does look a little dated in 2020. And I think the preamplifier has loads of connections, but it's missing a HDMI connection, which a lot of the Lima Elements new uh, competitors are now offering. But what's not disputable is the Lima Elements pre and power amplifiers build quality. They are built like tanks. They appear to have been built by someone who really loves their job and they were built by someone in England. Both of the units feel heavy, they feel solid and they are very reassuring that they're going to last you a lifetime. So moving on to sound quality for the Lima Elements Pre and Power combination. I have already made a more in-depth video demonstrating and talking about the sound quality of them and I have to think when Lima Acoustics engineers were designing these products did they ever envision they would be used in a room like this powering ultra high-end Wilson Audio tune top speakers on a desk in a really small room I very much doubt it because then we have to factor in the cost comparison factor of what's being reviewed here the Wilson Audio tune top speakers cost £12,000 each of the Lima Acoustics elements components costs about £1,300 each, which is about the same as the Wilson Audio TuneTop ISO bases or the stands that you can see them sitting on. So we have to put that into context. But for the total sound quality assessment, I've had these units here for quite a number of weeks and I've been using them here and I've also used them in my main review system but even so those speakers in the main review system are not quite Wilson Audio but they are Kef reference so I've only really given the Lima Elements pre and power combination very hard work. I have used the Elements preamplifier using its own internal DAC and then compared that to using it with a higher quality or a more premium external DAC so I have tested out 
all those aspects of the performance. The Elements pre and power amplifiers major on authority, power, control, and they deliver a sound with real guts and drive to it. The sound comes over clean in the main and the bass has good authority and good punch. The mid-range is detailed and the treble is okay. Not amazing, but okay. It's a sound that's full of energy that really brings the music to you. It very much brings the music to you and it does so with very good timing. To categorize the sound overall, I'd say it is on the leaner side with a more forward mids or more forward mid range. And that can come over a little bit shouty or a little bit overly forceful at times. And I worked really, really hard over a period of time to try and relax the sound of the Lima Acoustics Perry. And I tried all manner of different tweaks, things, and pretty much every trick up my sleeve. And I was able to do it some, and you know, I spent a lot of time with Dirac Live messing around with different target curves. And I found myself in a situation where I struggled to find a sound that was totally balanced. So I ended up, and for the purposes of the song demonstration, going for a slightly warmer sound sacrificing some clarity and some transient leading edge clarity. I could have gone the other way, I could have set the system up to be very much forward and with loads of clarity and leading edge clarity with a slightly leaner presentation. Doing that, the sound was just too forward for me and too shouty for me, bearing in mind I've been listening to this system in here, which is an extreme near field situation, i.e. sitting extremely close to the speakers. And what that just makes me acutely aware of is that I think you would want to partner these electronics with the right speakers. If you have some speakers or a system that needs some energy and some drive and some life really putting into it, or maybe that's more just the music style that you listen to, you want music to really thrill you, really have loads of energy and really come at you, then these could be the electronics and the hi-fi components for you. So for my final thoughts on that Lima Acoustics Elements pre and power amplifier combination, they've definitely impressed me with their build quality, they've definitely impressed me with the connection options and therefore the flexibility you can have using them. And that form factor is bound to appeal to any audiophile who's short on space or who's like me up here who's trying to work in a desktop or similar type of environment. And for storage purposes, neither of the components generate much heat, so you don't have to worry about stuffing them in small racks or tight spaces. For sound quality, I think the Lima Elements pre and power combination is likely to be a Marmite product, depending on what speakers you use them with and probably what styles of music you listen to. If you want your music to have energy, drive, enthusiasm, and authority from very compact, hi-fi components, which are built like absolute tanks with lots of flexibility for growing a system around them, then as I mentioned before, the Lima elements could be the pre and power combination for you. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you found it useful and helpful. Don't forget there's a sound demonstration video as part of this review. Also make sure to go and check that video out. Also go and check out our website, hit that thumbs up button. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, take care.